Hello guys, and today we're going to have some fun. Today we're going to upgrade my graphics card that I currently have in my computer. Right now I have a 670. In fact, I still have the box for it right here. Um, this is the box. Um, this, uh, this I bought in 2013, very early 2013. And... And it served me well. I've had it for almost six years. And this was the GeForce GTX 670 for the Win Edition. You can see it had two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, DirectX 11, it's PCI Express 3.0. And on the back here, there's the picture of the card. Display port, HDMI, DVI ports, and all that stuff there. But today, we're going to upgrade it to the GeForce GTX 1070, so four generations newer. I decided now to upgrade because I do want my PC to be VR ready, and the 670 is not very good for VR because it's just it's just too old at this point. But the 1070 would be great for it, and the 1070 will also play a lot of games at pretty good frame rates, even games in 1440p. So. And this was a pretty good price. You can buy these for fairly good prices now on eBay and even other stores because, you know, they're no longer mining them. So these, you know, like a year or two ago, these were going for like outrageous prices. But now that that's done, now you can buy these for pretty good prices. And, you know, so I went, so I decided to get this one I found on eBay. And uh, now that the 20 series cards are now out, but... You know, they're really expensive now still because they're brand new and their ray tracing stuff is, you know, only like two or three games support it. So that, so I didn't want to buy into that right now. So this was still a really big upgrade for me because this has, this will have eight gigabytes of GDR5 and this is also a DirectX 12 card. So this will be much, much more powerful than the 670. So some be very happy with this. All right, so let's just open it up right here and see what we got. Pull this out. Card is upside down, but that's okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think he put this in upside down. All right. All right, so here we have user guide. And... Build, build a system that fits you perfectly. I will. Graphics drivers, but they're probably outdated now. Get this little, get this little, get this little um, pamphlet here. Minimum system requirements. But I shouldn't need that. User guide. Probably won't read it, but it's still nice to have this stuff. And even some couple of stickers. He didn't use the stickers. So, I probably won't either, but still, they look pretty cool. And I think, what is this? Is this a. <laughs> this is a poster. What is this? This is a poster of. Well, I can't even fit that in the shop. But yeah, Gaming Beyond Open World. So they have it set up like a movie poster, um, and it has all the stuff down here. Like it would have like the credits in a movie. It says EVGA delivers premium del premium services, ninety days type of program, and all this other stuff. So yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, all right, and here I guess we have a, a cable. It looks like a um, this looks like a power adapter. Maybe I'll need that, but I probably won't. All right, now to the neat, to the big stuff here. This is the 1070 graphics card. Let's handle it carefully. And yes, this card is big. Um, it's probably about the same size as the 670 was. In fact, this may even be a little bit smaller because 670 is huge. Um, but yeah, and I think these light up. Uh, this has this is actually an LED light, at least I think it is. And this is the super clocked version, so I think this is the black edition, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. 
So yeah, yeah. There's the uh, model number right there. Okay, it's got some dust on it, but it's okay. It's like it's still fairly new. It's like it hasn't been used a whole lot. So hopefully this will get me another good five or six years of service. Well, all right, guys. Well, that is the unboxing. So let's open my computer up and we'll put this in. All right, so I have my case open right now. And this is the old graphics card, GTX 1070. I already got it unplugged. And you see, the one thing I don't like about this motherboard is the location of the PCI Express 1 ports. See, this is my capture card right here, which is right below the graphics card. And up here, this is my sound card, which is right above the, the graphics card. Although there's a little bit more space here, but down here there's like hardly any space at all. So, not very good, but that's the way it'll have to be. And you see on this one the fan was over here, so that worked out. But on this one there's two fans, so the capture card might be partially blocking the fans, but... Like I said, that's, that's, that's just the way it has to be. I can't move the ports around. So, but anyway, yeah, so, again, power supply down here, and CPU, it's an i7, 3770K. I bought this PC in November of 2012, so this is six years old now. Still going pretty strong. It's a little dusty. I tried to clean it out a little bit, but I don't have any can compressed air here with me right now. Alright, so let's just take this old card out. So we unscrew. All we gotta do is unscrew these. Put them aside. And the card should just slide right out. Let's see. Actually, there might be there might be a tab down here that you have to lift up. Okay, so you release this tab right here, and that will release the card. Okay. So here's the old card, guys. The GeForce GTX 670. This does have some weight. I think it's heavier than the new card. There's the ports on the back. Here's the back. Very dusty. It's had six years of use just about. Now let's compare it to the new card real quick. Let me see here. They're actually about the same size. About the same length. Actually the, the 670 might of uh, a 1070 might actually be just a little bit longer. As you can see here, they're about the same width, oh, or um, yeah, about the same width. But the 1070 is a little bit longer. But this case is pretty big, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, guys. Well, there's only one thing left to do. I want to put this in carefully. Okay, actually there are three PCI Express 1 ports, but when you have a big card like this, it does take up one of the ports. It covers it up anyways. Alright. I need to fit this in. Snap it in. Alright, so it is in and tightened down. Again, that, that capture card is much closer than I would like it to be. I mean, there's barely any room there for the fans to breathe. But, like I said, it'll have to do. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Alright, last thing to do is to connect the 8-pin power connector, which my power supply does have. But, it, but there is an adapter included in case you don't have that. And all right, there you go. It is ready to go. And upon closer inspection, 
I am now thinking that these letters do not light up because this is just flat and this is just a sticker. Um, now I know there are some models that do light up, um, but apparently this is not it. I was thinking I did get that one. Uh, that's what the uh, model, that's what the description in the eBay listing said, but I guess those aren't always accurate. You know, you can't always go by that. But it's not a big deal though. I mean, that's not a, that's not a bad thing, bad thing necessarily. Alright, well, computer's all hooked back up and running. So, to compare this card against the 670 and how much more powerful it is, I did run a benchmark. Now, this is the benchmark for Fire Strike 1.1 on 3D Mark. And, and this was using the 670. I, I did this a couple of days ago. The final score was 6383. Graphic score was 6971. Get closer there. The physics score was 11988. Combined score 2736. And here's some more detailed, some more detailed information. Put the graphics card here, the core clock, uh, the memory, driver version. So now I'm going to go to the latest test I just ran on Fire Strike using the 1070, and the score is 14720 with graphic score of 18364 physical score is about the same and combined score is 6861 and as you can see here this score is a lot higher it's almost up there with 4k gaming pcs i'm not quite up to that yet but this also isn't a 4k monitor because it's only a 1440p monitor so that's not a problem and here's some more detailed information about the six of uh, the 1070 rather Memory, core clock is always higher, uh, driver version, which is the latest version by the way, I just downloaded it. So, yeah guys, so much better. I haven't played any games yet, I don't have time for that right now, I gotta go into work soon. But, I am very excited, this is definitely an emotional powerful car. My PC is now VR ready, so maybe one day I'll get the Vive or the Oculus, I haven't decided yet, but I definitely look forward to trying that out. So for now, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely had fun putting this in, and I hope to see some great results. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.